This is Korangosa National Park. Here there are rich floodplains, open savanna grasslands and even mountain rainforests that are home to leopards, hippos, zebras, lions as well as the longest living mammals in Africa who have witnessed some of the darkest days in Mozambique's history that has completely changed their future. Elephants are one of the most iconic species in Africa. They look so unique with an enormous head, long trunk, wide ears, as well as a tail that resembles a broomstick. But if you look closely on the ancestry of modern day elephants, the evolution of their tusks is by far the most fascinating thing. Some had tusks that were so wide that the trunk had to be draped over them. And if you time travel 24 million years in the past, you will encounter a descendant of the elephant with not two, but four tusks. Female African elephants can have tusks or they can be completely tuskless. Theoretically, you will never find a male African elephant without tusks. Let's delve into genetics to understand why so is the case. Males have X and Y chromosomes. I will use alphabets here to simplify things. The gene which codes for either tusks or tusklessness is always located on the X chromosome, right there, marked in pink. Now. If there is a gene which codes for tusks in the embryo, all is good. But if there happens to be a gene which codes for the embryo being tuskless, it is a huge problem. This is due to the presence of another gene on the Y chromosome, which is highly incompatible with the tuskless gene. In fact, this incompatibility is so dangerous that it proves to be lethal for the embryo and leads to a miscarriage. That's why all male African elephants born have genes which code for tusks. Now you might be thinking that how are females then successfully born without tusks, right? Let's go back to the drawing board. Unlike males with X and Y chromosomes, females have two X chromosomes. This means that if there happens to be a tuskless gene, there's no Y chromosome at all to make the gene incompatible with. Despite this, being tuskless is not a common thing in females. Only about 2 to 4% of female African elephants are tuskless. But in the past few decades, researchers in Gorongosa National Park noticed an alarming statistic. The proportion of female elephants had actually increased all the way up to 33%. What could be the explanation for this? I mean, nature operates as per the principles of natural selection. Charles Darwin, in his publication, The Origin of Species, said that preservation of favorable variations and the destruction of injurious variations I call natural selection or survival of the fittest. This means that the natural environment decide which characteristics survive and which do not. In this hypothetical example, the brightly colored frogs are much easier to spot and that's why they get eaten more often. So, is the increase in tuskless elephants a result of natural selection taking place? Unlike frogs, African elephants are not living by the laws of natural selection. They are living by the force of human destruction. Two years after Mozambique gained independence, a brutal civil war was fought between the ruling party and an armed rebel group, and the country's economy was left in shambles. So guess how both the parties managed to gather money to buy weapons for the war? The global ivory trade market is valued at around $23 billion and a pound of ivory is worth around $1,500. That's why it was heavily used to finance the war. During this time frame, elephant populations in the country's Gorongosa National Park crashed by more than 90%. Poachers just kept on killing elephants with tusks and left the tuskless females alone. These remaining females then passed their tuskless gene to their offspring. Before the war, less than a fifth of female African elephants lacked tusks. After the civil war, almost half of the females were tuskless. Female elephants form large herds with their babies, sisters and other female relatives. All the males, once they reach puberty, are kicked out of this group. The entire herd is led by the oldest and most experienced female, the matriarch. 
she has the right to make all the decisions on behalf of the herd. Whenever we say a person has a memory of an elephant, we're actually referring to the matriarch's abilities, as she is the one who remembers all the reliable sources of water, as well as grazing pastures in areas often hundreds of kilometers away. What relation does this have to ivory poaching? Well, you see, tusks continue to grow throughout an elephant's lifespan. The older the elephant, the bigger the tusks. Males have five to seven times larger tusks than females. So the primary target for poachers are obviously males. Then they focus on killing older females with tusks. This is catastrophic for the elephants because the oldest female usually turns out to be the matriarch. And killing the matriarch means risking the life of future generations as newborn calves in a herd are fully dependent on the matriarch's ability to find water and food. Fortunately, governments have started to realize the importance of elephant conservation and recent bans on the ivory trade in China and the US may reduce the demand for tusks. But recovering the 90% decline in elephant population is a very challenging task. As we discussed earlier, the tuskless gene is fatal to male offspring. An increase in tuskless genes in a population means that fewer and fewer elephants will be born overall. On top of that, a female can only give birth to one calf in a 22 month long gestation period, the longest amongst all mammals. The reason for releasing this video on World Elephant Day is to highlight two important things. I want you to understand that behind every piece of ivory, whether it be a full tusk or even a small trinket, is a dead elephant. And the fact that how we are impacting the evolution of species towards our desired direction. And this is not just related to tuskless elephants in Gorongosa National Park. In Alaska, bighorn sheep's horn sizes have dropped by 20% because large horned animals are primary targets for trophy hunters. The size of some fish have reduced because it is easier for smaller fish to pass through nets. Certain species of insects have evolved pesticide resistance due to our careless use of chemicals. For thousands of years, Mother Nature has sustained a harmonious balance. The problem arises when we humans interfere with this intricate yet delicate system. According to a report in lifescience.com, humans are forcing species to change 300 times faster than they normally would through natural selection. There are still quite a few countries where ivory trade is still going on behind closed doors. But irrespective of whether future generations will face repercussions of elephant poaching or not, I still believe that no ivory derived piece of artwork, ornament or jewelry looks more mesmerizing than seeing a tusked African elephant roaming freely in its habitat.